Welcome to another video. We're back into the shed here. And uh, this video, essentially, I want to go through and figure out some way to seal these gaps between the wall and the concrete to stop mice and rodents and spiders and whatever. I had it explained to me this morning that if I had have known before the shed was built, or if the shed people had have actually mentioned something, they could have put rodent proofing on there, which is like this um, bent wire that hooks from the concrete and goes around the tin and around uh, up the outside of the wall. So, in theory, that would have been perfect. And if I had known, I would have done that. But I didn't, and I haven't. So I've got to come up with something else, and we'll see how that unfolds because this is a, a fair chunk to actually get around and do. But I will get there. Give me time. A quick look on eBay, and you can see that there's different types of spray foam. I figure, you know, this, this seems decent enough. I'll go through and just grab like five of those, and uh, yeah, let's see how we go. It should only take a couple of days to get here. I was only able to order four of the spray foam. I didn't notice that the guy only had four on the listing, but either way, that's, uh, that's here, ready to go. Um, I have had to move some cars and stuff into the shed already, so now I've got to work around the cars. But all going well, this should just be a simple matter of doing whatever it says on the back and uh, filling in all these gaps around the wall. Alrighty, basically shake the crap out of this, spray it in gaps, sounds simple. This seems to be doing the job quite well. Uh, I've done one end and one side. It's not overly neat, but nothing's getting through it. Turns out I needed more. Um, I was too short and I may possibly need a third, but for now, I think we've got enough to completely finish the shed, so fingers crossed. It's now been about a month and uh, everything's fluffed up and done what it's supposed to do. It looks pretty good. Uh, I'm quite happy. Nothing has come through, no bugs, no mice. Uh, I have noticed though that it puffed up enough that the outside is probably gonna need a bit of a trim. So this is the outside. Other than a few weeds that are growing, you can see that this is sort of puffed out a bit. Now, I don't think that's really gonna be an issue. It has discolored pretty quickly. Um, I'll give it a month and just see what it uh, what it does. It's now been four months. <laughs> this looks fine. I have no real issues. So you probably don't need to trim this. Uh, I did have to poison. A lot of grass came up and this doesn't seem to really stop weeds. Um, they will just slowly eat their way through it and continue to come into your shed. But that said, a bit of poison, you don't need to trim anything, it looks fine. That is a uh, fairly cheap way of rodent proofing your shed, so I hope this helps. I thought before I walk off, I might just quickly show how overgrown the, the weeds actually get around here. And I think this is mostly for the fact that, as you can tell, it's raining and we get lots of water here. Uh, there's several of these tanks that I've had to put in and um, they're sort of overflowing into the, into the river here, so they come through and just go into the ground and out into our little river. It just disappears and goes where it needs to go. Just before I go on the subject of rain and water, I've just noticed that uh, I might need to put another downpipe in because it's overflowing. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope this helped in some small way. It's 
definitely not the way you probably should do it, but it works and it's cheap and it'll do for now. Thank you.